HMP Durham Visitor Centre. As you can see, the sign on the wall. This will be where your visitors come and book in for your visits. Live Free also did an audit on this prison, but he thought it wasn't really corrupt. I don't know where they got that information from, because this is one of the most corrupt jails in the Nick, in, in all Nicks. This prison, they reckon, is at least 50% more corrupt than any other Nicks in country. And I know from experience, because I was here in late 80s, I came here on an overcrowding draft, and on that draft with me was a boxer, a well-known boxer from Wakefield, and his name was Paul Sykes. He'd been put on this draft, Shanghai idea from Armley, because he assaulted the gym screw over 10 minutes uh, with a dumbbell. The gym screw had told him to pack his weights up and Paul told him that he had 10 minutes left so he won't pack in no weights away. Gym screw tried to make him and uh, got chinned with a dumbbell for his trouble. The Shanghai Paul here, as I've said, on the same overcrowding draft I were on. Uh, it later went on to do the same here and assault the gym screw again here with another dumbbell. I don't know what it is about dumbbells, you'd think screws here would have had sense not to let Paul anywhere near one after Armley, because they will have known why he was Shanghai here, they'll have been told. Other notorious criminals that have been in here are uh, Rose West, Moira Rinley, Ian Brady, Moore's murderers, and Mary Ann Cotton, she was a serial killer back in 1800s, I believe. She, she killed, her last victim was a stepson. Can't remember his name. Uh, Moira Rinley were later shipped to uh, Law Newton Prison, which is another uh, prison, women prisoners and YPs in another part of Durham. Uh, the screws in here are proper bastards, always have been. There is bad as strange ways screws here. Well, strange ways screws before riots. They're not same now, the pussies. This nick is still bad. It always has been. Uh, as I've said before, we've got Shanghai here. They sent me here to finish off. Uh, they sent Paul Sykes because he chinned screws, like I've said, gym screws. They have mailbag shops, a weaver's shops. Uh, I would put in mailbag shop here. We had to sew them by hand. And they even had a lifer here, waxing string for mailbags. What about that? Waxing string, how bad's that? It was his second life sentence. I sat talking to him and asked him how come he were back on a second life sentence if he'd been released once. He told me he served 12 years of a life sentence for killing his wife because he'd come home and found her in bed with another man. So he grabbed her and beat her to death. While they were doing that, to, the bloke did one like you'd imagine he would. So he told me that for the whole 12 years, 
he was serving his life sentence, it, uh, it tormented him to death. Because he, in his opinion, he'd killed wrong one. So when he got released, he made a point of finding the bloke and did the same to him, then went and handed himself in. I asked him why they had handed himself in and he told me that uh, he couldn't angle it outside anymore. I've heard a few lifers say that. Well, here now, this main gate, this is where prisoners will go in. And the door smack in front of us. I'm not going to go in there, that screws. Uh, like I've said, this is new main gate. As you can see, all the brick, all the stonework is all new. They've done that in a lot of nicks. The old gatehouse will be right on the side. I'm going to try and get round there in a minute. Uh, they've spent a lot of money on jails, putting toilets in, and that's all because of us. Smash it nicks up in the 90s. We get this sign on. HMP Durham. When it were, in fact, I'd say this nick is worse for brutality, worse for the amount of drugs that are in here, all down to the screws, and uh, the only nick second to this would be Risley, Liverpool. I'm going to walk down here and see if I can get around the other side of Nick. So if you just bear with me a moment, I'll try and get around to point out. I was hoping I'd catch a screw or two here. I'm on a public footpath. Uh, can't go over there onto that car park because that's the Screws car park. It clearly states this one here is the same. We'll go down this way and see if I can get round the other side of this nick to show you the old Victorian gate house. So if you just bear with me a moment, like I've said. I was in here in the early 80s. They put me in... They put me in a cell. Oops, there's not a lot for you to see here. Apart from Durham itself. Which is a lovely place. Some bright scenery around here. Uh, I'm going to walk up here. And there's a gate. And a sign on here. A warning sign. Warning. Dogs patrol in this area. But well, it's still accessible, so as you can see here, presuming all these buildings here, must be something to do with prison as well. Uh, there's another gate. But well, it doesn't look like I can get round any farther this way. But there's another gate. Uh, I'll have to walk round front of jail. But as you can see, this prison has got seven wings and it houses. 980 odd prisoners. Uh, walking back this way now. There's not a lot I can say about this, Nick. Uh, apart from it's one of the worst ones, it, well, I'd say it is the worst one in the country at the moment. Uh, 
and I would like to be in again. There's no point going back that way. I'll go back up here to the front of prison and see if I can get a confrontation with a screw. I'll walk in the main gate and ask them a question or two. See what they say. I'm sure they'll come out with threats and tell me that they're going to form police. Uh, but like I say, it's got the it houses, 900 and odd prisoners here. And it's brutal, proper brutal. There's no screws about nowhere. It's like, it's like, let me see if I can get you a view in here. I don't know what this is all about here, but it's clearly public accessible. Uh, I can't see any screws in there. Let's go and see if I can get a reaction. Oh, look at this. Their menu, jacket potatoes and everything. And in here, two screws in here. Can I just have a word? No face mask. I'll put a thing over your face. This is HM Prison, Durham. They're telling me to do one. Uh, so, I think that's about all we can do, really. Uh, I've said what I've come to say. And the screws clearly don't want me here. But this nick is proper notorious. Uh, excuse me, officer. Can I just ask you something? I've been told that this prison is 50%, has 50% more brutality and drugs within the walls. What would you say about that? What about the brutality here? Yes, I, I, I appreciate that, mate. That's okay, mate. Can I just ask you about Paul Sykes? Was you here when Paul Sykes was here? The boxer? What about the screws, screw S's, having sex with inmates? What do you mean, no? I happen to know they do. Well, I got a reaction there. So, uh I'll leave it at that, call it quits. In all fairness, he did tell me that I'm not allowed to film up there. So I've come away and... Uh, excuse me, mate. Do you know about brutality in this prison? No. You know that it is a brutal nick though, don't you? Well, uh, they had Moira Inley, Ian Brady, Ian Brady, Paul Sykes, who were a boxer and fought for Commonwealth title here. Rose West, she were in here. So it's had a lot of notorious villains in here, mate. It houses nine, nine and a half hundred. 
and scrolls a brothel. We do these audits, you can look us up mate on YouTube, Arthur Taylor, if you just put Arthur Taylor, Durham Prison, it'll come up and you can please subscribe to my channel mate, you'll find them interesting, I've done nicks all over the country. It's all about corruption and everything within Nicks. You should know about corruption in here if you're a local. Right, we've got a reaction there. I didn't want to film him from a member of the public, but you could hear what he was saying. So we'll call it quits at that.